In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the USGS historical aerials and topographical maps. In there, you'll be able to find images such as these that you can use for your research projects or personal use. So first, we're going to go into Google. Uh, you can use any search engine, but I prefer to use Google. So you can just do a search for USGS historical aerials or historical maps. So let's do the aerials first. Historical aerials. And what you're going to look for is Earth Explorer. Go ahead and click on it. So right now you should be brought to a window like this. This is current as of 2017, March. And we're going to go ahead and look for an area. So we're going to go all the way down. And I'm going to look for another map of Lacombe. Alright, move it over just a bit. So use your left, left mouse to click it. I'm trying to find out when this canal was dug. So from here, I'm going to select Use Map. Now you can enter and add coordinates, but I find using map looks a lot easier. This is going to look at the boundaries of the map that you are currently in from zooming in from using your mouse wheel. So from right here, I'm going to use Use Map, and it's going to select the Latin Longitude coordinates for that. After that, go ahead and select Data Sets. Uh, you can put in an option for date range. So let's go ahead and do that right now first. So I'm going to go ahead and select from let's see, 1990, March 1st. Let's see, I'm going to go actually beyond that. Uh, 1968, March 1st. And I'll go up to 1990, March 1st. Hit data sets. And then you're going to want to go over to, let's see, I believe it is aerial imagery and aerial photo single frames. Go ahead and select it. If this is free to use. And what you want to do is you want to go to your left scroll bar, I mean, sorry, your right scroll bar, scroll all the way down, and hit results. So click, left click on results. It's now going to search this out for you. You're going to have to create an account with the website to be able to actually see the images. But here they are right here. So I can look at December 14th, 1985. Um, you're going to look at the scale. The smaller the numbers, the better the resolution you're going to get. So, these are kind of high numbers. I'm going to get down to around 20,000. I could deal with 40,000, but I want to get down a little bit beyond that. Let's see, 73. Now, this is still pretty big. See, the one I have is from 1969. 30,000. See if this can be it right here. So I'm going to hit my footprint. And it's going to show me the footprint. So this is outside my area. So I'm going to go ahead and click footprint off again. I'm going to hit the next footprint. Still kind of outside my area. I might have to get a bigger image. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to previous. Try to find the smallest I can get, 44,000. Oh, it's just not have to work. With my footprint still a little outside my area. A little south of it, I might consider that. There we go, that's kind of dead on. So then I'm going to go ahead and hit download. Like I said, you have to create an account first. And I'm going to do download high resolution product. I'm going to go ahead and let this download in the background. So I'm going to hit download right now. And it's going to take a little while, and there it is. You need to get a special zip, um, like a file unzip, 
uh, this is a .gz file. So while this is doing that, I'm going to close it out, leave the footprint up, and I'm going to do another search. So this way I'm going to go into, let's see, USGS Historical Maps. I'm going to look at Topographical Maps. So from here, you want to go to Topo View. USGS Historical Topographical Maps. Topo View. Topo View, however you want to say it. Click that. And then just go straight to Topo View or Topo View. So click this icon right up here. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. Get Maps. And then you just, you can go through a little tutorial video. But I'm just going to go straight to my area again. Topographical maps. And I want to check out some of the map layouts in this region over here. So I'm going to go down to 24,000. Like I said, the smaller the number, the better. 24,000. And I'm going to click this partition of slide L. Let's see. Uh, I will go right around here. And it's going to bring you how many maps there are available. Just click the maps and you can tell the dates right here 1998 to 1971 and if you click it it'll show you just like a, like a little um, pop up right here it'll show you a little sample so while this is all doing that this is still downloading in the background so I'm going to go into 1972 1980 let's check out 1980 I'm going to do the highest one. Let's see, let's do a JPEG right now. So I just click JPEG and it should load it on up, and there it is right there. So it's going to download that. That's pretty much how you, you access this. So hopefully, this will be a great help for anybody who's trying to do historical research using aerial imagery photography. Thank you again. Like my video, subscribe. Thank you very much.